It's pretty Episode solid. 10. Ooh. We're live. What Ooh. a fucking animal. <laughs> Episode 10. <laughs> so aggressive. <laughs> the thing that's in the title people clicked on. Like, Let's just clear that up. Episode 10. Getting shit done. We're Getting back. Getting shit done. But Same um, crew. The Anywho. That Giants documentary. It's like not really a good documentary, but it's like got a lot of. It's got information. so much information, yeah. and it just bombards you. So, but it's like good stuff to go look into off of there. Mm-hmm. No, I felt like it was a lot of just picking and choosing of like whatever the fuck they want to. It's like let Here's me go these people's stories. Yeah, and now these people's and stories. this one and this one and this one. It's like, well, what what else happened in that fucking story that has no correlation to fucking anything else? It's like that above majestic documentary. They just throw shit at you. Yeah, it's I a mean, bunch of shit. Still, like, cool information and shit that they are throwing at you. I don't know, like, fucking, they're hiding oh, yeah. all the, the giant skeletons. Goddamn Smithsonian. Oh, Dump. just a bunch of assholes. I think it was weird, like, some of the shit that they said is, like, oh, how they sure. dumped the skeletons in the ocean. Yeah, I was like, like well, is there any evidence of that? Why the fuck would you go all the way in the middle of the ocean to dump skeletons when you can just go to the crematory and just throw them in the furnace? Yeah, it seemed like a weird, like, to say it with just no amount of, like, these people saw it. Like, they're just yeah. like, yeah. people say. <laughs> this is what they did. Yeah. Listen. I, I get enough of that shit, and it's like, all right, how how credible is this? No. Uh, no, I like the shit, though, when they're just referencing, like, Native American stories. And they're like, yeah, it's weird how, like, most Native American tribes have a story of, like, banding together yeah, uh, with everyone else to fucking defeat fuck up the, some giants. Yeah, the, uh cannibalistic giants. Yeah, the fucking the red-haired giants and got to keep them in the caves and fucking shoot fire at them and whatnot. All that good shit. And then they go in the caves and they find fucking giant bones. I mean, <laughs> it's wild. It's, cra- it's crazy how it works. Like, goddamn. No. These myths are something, huh? <laughs> no, it's fucked up. I think it's absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Do you think it was... A different race of people? Or do you think it was, like, still humans like you and I, but just, like, a giant motherfucker? Like another type of hominid? Yes. Or just a, another f- totally different? Just, like, in a different genes? Because it's, they're, like... Well, you're saying, like... What kind of giant? In, yeah. Is it in the human family? Yeah, not just, like, f- went off from Neanderthal and just evolved It's not a homo sapien, but obviously. Yeah. But, like, is it still a homo something? Versus it is it just, like, a fucking Bigfoot type thing. Like, yeah. is it a different Yeah, thing? just completely different. Yeah. Um, Aren't they, like, the Nephilim? Like, the... I was going to say, it might just be on different scales. Because I think the giants that are around by the time, like, the Native Americans are around are, like... Leftover, so you know, like watered it, down. It's like all like post flood shit by that mm-hmm. time that they have stories. So I wonder if like and the giants out here are only like like eight, nine, ten feet. Tall. You know what I read though is bones buried, or maybe it was in that documentary. But bones buried shrink. They, yeah, yeah, they, they shrink. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. So that that shit's crazy. So all of a sudden, those like eight feet, we we're like, oh, it's not how much does it shrink? Well, uh, yeah, fucking twelve feet. How about that? Uh, how about that second row of teeth? That would make me think probably it's a different thing. Yeah, that would because I could see like if everything else looks the same, but you got two rows of teeth. Like I can't feasibly like, and like you look at the percentage of humans that are cannibals. It's like only a like a couple of little tribes here and there. It's yeah. clearly not like the main. So if all of them were like pretty down with can, it's like. Maybe the wiring is pretty different. Yeah. I wonder if they. I wonder if they found the teeth or just the, the jaw. They found the jaw. I know they found the jaw, but do you think they found the like? I wonder if like one row of teeth was just all like canine teeth for like ripping through meat and shit. Oh yeah, I was wondering the same thing. If it was like the back set is like all just chompers, and yeah. then the front mm. ones are all like like the sharp, sharp ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be fucking scary as shit. That was a cool moment when I was a kid, and I was, like, thinking about how my teeth were, like, designed for things. I was like, oh, yeah, these oh, teeth, yeah. like, tear things, yeah. and these teeth, these like, this, this, yeah. yeah. It was, like, a cool moment. Pretty smart guy. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty interesting moment in my life. <laughs> now let's talk What's about that? other things in your life. <laughs> it all started when I was a child. <laughs> 
For most people, it does. <laughs> That's how it happens. Now you're a child. Imagine working with this man. I couldn't. Imagine I this man could saying not. things and people being like, oh. Oh, they love it. <laughs> they love it. A room full the of people love idiots. It. I got a stage <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> he didn't. Oh, stop. Yeah. You know which one was good? I like how it lingers. I like, I like the lingering. I like that. God, it goes on forever. I feel like we're in a big room. No, I uh, wonder if it was going to, like, circle back around. Like, You know what I said the other day? I was like, you know, we got, we got the speed of light. We got the speed of sound. What about the speed of sight? Shh. People lost it. It's the stupidest fucking <laughs> <story>. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a dumber thing than <laughs> writing it down. <laughs> oh, dude, I was going through my fucking notes yeah. for this podcast. Just atrocious. Le- yeah, let's run that out. Trot that out. I have a note thing called personal podcast notes. As opposed to the public ones. <laughs> so usually when I'm fucked up, well, because we're shared on the other ones. Right. So I can't, you know. <laughs> these come you can't in hot. say things like. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down the speed of sight. <laughs> because <laughs> that'd be a good thing to I talk went, about. I went in the vault. I looked at Zach, and I was like, "I'm writing that down." <laughs> no, dude. I got this one. Didn't make sense. Zach blowjob thought. Well, that's I d- you know what's funny? I did some. I did some curious. I did some. I did some. That's one word for it. I did some thinking on that. Is this some experimenting? No, and I think it was <laughs> Zach was talking about when he was younger. He thought a blowjob was oh, someone blowing on sense. someone's dick. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> I did yeah. think that. So I thought that was funny. And then I was embarrassed <laughs> in school about it. That's fucking if funny. If you can imagine. If you can imagine being embarrassed in school. <laughs> being ridiculed and uh, then having to threaten violence. Zach back on Bumble. I didn't know he got off. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. These are old notes. Old notes. These haven't been updated. Uh, okay. Limb lengthening surgery. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> An excruciatingly Dude, did you know that's a thing? That can yeah. Get like a couple inches. For like wild people. Like wild motherfuckers. Dude, I saw a video. This girl was like born with like a normal sized torso and a normal sized head, but her limbs were short or whatever that's called. Uh, she was like three, six or some shit. Bro, she got this surgery. She... <laughs> Like, after one, or after, like, the course of, like, a couple months or some shit, she was, like, 4'11". She gained, like, a foot and a half. Well, that's crazy. I thought you could only get, like, a Yeah, I thought it was going to be, six inches at most. Nah, dude. She was, like, a normal-sized person. I heard it's, like, horridly painful. Really? Oh, they're breaking all of your bones and, like, I don't don't understand the process, but adding new ones or what the fuck they're doing just sounds horrendous. I think they make them, like... They break them to, like, have them grow, but then they do stuff to, like, make them stretch to grow. They, like, keep stretching it. Like, I have no... We'll look into it. We'll, we'll ne- Next week, we'll, uh, we'll get the up. results. She was crazy. I was watching that Gross. shit. I was fucking mind-blown. Ugh. Zach's nickname. <laughs> Zach, Zach had a nickname at work. No, nah, that fucking dick... <laughs> you, my fucking boss tell, talks to me about diversity in the workplace. Me and you were talking about this. I get... The only thing that people attribute being, like, from New York to me is that, like, whoa, wa- <laughs> watch out for this one. He'll go all New York. It's just, like, some weird, like, anger. Like, I don't. I'm walking here. Yeah, it's just that. <laughs> but I get no the credit. fucking coffee. No credit for being, like, from the most fucking diverse cross-section of humanity on the planet. So this fucking white broad from Midwest is talking to me about diversity. She's like. See, look at all the people I just hired. Names, three people who, like, you'd have, you'd be, like, you're white and a quarter Mexican? You're white and half black or Mexican something? It's, like, almost disrespectful to call them diversity. Uh, It's like we got the white version of, like, different things. Yeah, you know, when they get hired, they mark themselves down as fucking... Pacific Islander or some fucking oh, shit. Oh, for sure. <laughs> the same way I marked down Native American. <laughs> no, I stopped doing that. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I mark, prefer not to say. 
Do you really? Yeah. You're that guy? Yeah. Nice. I do man, though. <laughs> you do? I yeah. am a well, man. That's good. I won't say what kind of man, but I yeah. am a man. That's good. Tell that's you that good. right now. You don't click other? No, no. Oh, okay. I do man and then prefer not to say for race because it shouldn't matter. Man or woman does matter. <laughs> I, I'm a sh- I can lift more chairs. Jordan, Pe- Jordan, chairs. Jordan Peterson says it matters. <laughs> so it does matter. Yeah, you're going to have that guy at work in trouble, bro. We'll send him a message. <laughs> Me and you can handle a scholarly video like that. He's going to hear He's going to read, like, the fucking clickbait headline and be like, see, he says women suck, too. And you're like, no. <sighs> no, that's not what he means. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy comes in, uh, this guy walks in the vault and he goes, man, I'm going to give Zach a nickname. You know what his nickname is? Quiet Riot. Pretty sure it's a band. It is. And then I pulled up the band, and the first also, song is Come. I also want to say it's Field probably a wrestler or something okay. like that. It's a pretty fucking lame nickname, I'll be honest. Like, what in God's name does someone want hey, me to say Hey, Quiet back Riot. To I, thought it was, I thought it was funny as fuck. You weren't there. <laughs> when I heard it. <laughs> yeah, it is funny after the fact. It's not yeah. funny there when a, the person stupid enough to say it is still standing in front of you with their dumb fucking face, and you have to not verbally <laughs> assault them. Physically, you can assault them, though, right? No. Same reason. I'm at work. Imagine if someone just said that to you, like, in life. And you could just, like, attack their fucking appearance and threaten their family. What? <laughs> I mean... I'm- I believe that's called anarchy. <laughs> yeah. This man's about to join Antifa. No, no. He's an Antifa supporter. Oh, yeah, I just believe bud. in freedom. <laughs> and the Second Amendment. <laughs> but it's like, if you're going to call me a stupid fucking nickname, despite it maybe it coming from a good place, you're still saying something fucking stupid to me. So why I'm not allowed to then say something stupid to you back, like, like <laughs> I got a fucking nickname for you. Beep, beep, beep. Fucking. <laughs> My nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that guy. So mad. <laughs> Getting hot over here. <laughs> and that's the guy that my boss, every time something something comes up about inventory, she goes, you know, he's expressed interest. I, I could give a fuck what he's expressed interest about. I've expressed interest in a lot of things that I haven't <laughs> fucking got in here. Could give two shits what he's expressed interest in. <laughs> Wants to be on inventory. Stop pissing everyone in inventory off. <laughs> <laughs> Good it's, there, bud. It's so I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> and we'll be back after these commercial breaks. I wish. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, <sighs> Do you see the uh, Eddie Hall and Thor fight? Yeah. This didn't happen yet, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. I really want to see that. That's one not I... boxer fight that I actually would like to see. Because something about it makes sense. It's, like, fun. I mean, I think... Do you know f- what we're talking about? No. The guy who played the big guy on Game of Thrones. Yeah. Is it oh, it's him? The Mountain? I think that, isn't that Thor? Uh, I don't fucking I know. believe that's who that is. I th- and then, no, yeah, I The Mountain. Possibly, probably. Um, and then Eddie Hall is like a big power lifter guy. Two or dudes that strong won guy. the world's strongest they're gonna man box. competition. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, they're fucking, one dude uh, like had like some fucking crazy deadlift. It was like fucking like. Uh, I think Hall has the crazy 500 deadlift. kilogram a deadlift, whatever the fuck that's in pounds. Times um, 2.2, so 1,200 pounds. A lot. 1,200 pounds? Fuck it. Oh, dude, he's doing it and his nose is just bleeding. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Really? It's the crazy feat of human strength yeah. of, like, what a human can do. So, like, Hall pounds. did it. To just lift it in yeah. the air. That's like a car. Yeah, it's wild. No, it's fucking wild. Absolutely wild. It's fucking insane. Fucking Thor's got reach on that guy, I think, though. He's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, no, he's a big motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, dude fucking lifted the 500, like, and everyone saw, and then the dude lifted 501 at, like, his home gym. And people were like, that's fucking bullshit. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. And then immediately challenged him to a boxing match. <laughs> like, I will fight you. That's crazy. Square up. 
That's crazy. He tore his bicep training for it. God. I wonder how fucked up, like, his body is after lifting that. Oh, how we were talking about... I mean, these guys at least has the frame for it, but it's still, like, not what your body's supposed to to do, technically. You yeah. know, like... It's like but just from training that much, from being that big for that long, like, from lifting that heavy shit and, like, tearing shit all the time. Like, how not, fucked up is your body? That's oh, what I'm yeah. saying. It's, like, None not of them look... I mean, go look at fucking, like, that. Stallone and fucking, uh, like, Schwarzenegger and, like, those motherfuckers now. Like, once they age and shit, like, they are... They look like, gross. Fucking awful. I was gonna say, I feel like, historically, people that peaked like that probably didn't live to be old and fall yeah. down. I mean, they probably yeah. died at in their prime, you know? Yeah, that dude's probably thinking he's gonna go die fucking breaking the next fucking yeah. uh, weightlifting record or some shit. I mean, well, I'm I just mean, saying, like, ancestrally, like, that guy fight, fucking fights a saber tooth, like the yeah. dude with those genes, you know? Like, he doesn't make it to be village elder or whatever the fuck. No, he, he's fucking war chief. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'll see you guys in the sky. Fucking <laughs> I'll see you guys in Valhalla. Yeah. <laughs> Runs in off some mushrooms. The hummingbird war god of the Aztecs. <laughs> that shit's crazy. Yeah, no, I definitely would like to see that fight. I, I wanna, wanna. Just, someone's getting knocked out. That's all I know. Yeah, I feel like those two are actually like enough about it where they're not gonna like pitter patter around each other. Well, there's that, and then they also like feel like have had adequate time to train, and are still like the world's strongest fucking men. So I can only imagine what, like, one punch from them feels like. I know Eddie Hall was with uh, Poye. I know that Thor guy was with Connor. Um, oh, so Thor's getting fucked up. I don't know if he trained with him or if he was just doing, like, a shoot with him, but I've seen them, like, moving around together. Mm. Um, same thing. I think Poye, like, choked out Eddie Hall. But then, like, oh, yeah. I'm I sure while he was there, was then, like, all right. All right, now hit me once and yeah. let me feel it, yeah. <laughs> I love Poya. I Hit hate me. that he lost the fucking... I understand losing to Khabib. I hate that he lost to Oliveira. Nothing against Oliveira. No, like no, 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 no. That was, that was a depressing fight, though. I love Poya. That was really a fucked up card, much. though. That was the one where Nunez lost. It was weird. I mean, I really don't care. I don't really just didn't want the other girl to win. I don't like her very much. Um, yeah. Nunez losing was more just like, but it just looked like, like slacking but, off. But it was just a shitty fight. Like, oh, it just it looked like a barroom brawl. Yeah, N- not even like a technical brawl. Yeah, just like sloppy. Yeah. Well, what fucking weight is that at? I think that's one forty-five. Remember, how, like the other day, we were saying like the women's classes, like the upper women's classes, have no fucking technique. They need a. It's gross. They need it's, a heavyweight women's class. I'd fucking watch. It. I don't give a. Sh- I'd That'd be dope. In Russia, they have, like, a regular-sized woman fight a heavyweight man that, like, doesn't know how to fight. Yeah. (laughs) Really? Yeah. It's like untrained 500-pound man versus trained woman. (laughs) They'll also, like, have you fucking, like, dress them in, like, fucking full knight armor and can go full force, like, swing an axe at a motherfucker. Or in Japan, they have it where you wear, like, a shirt that puts two people in the same shirt, so then you each, like, like, one person uses their left hand and the other person uses their right hand. And then you box another like oh, set of people that'd be like so fun. Right, right, and you'd have to. Co- I think you can kickbox like that, so you have to like coordinate like that'd your steps so and your kicks fun. and shit. That's crazy as fuck, right? There's they have a phone booth, um, fighting. I would not do that. How that crazy would that be? Fuck that. You ever hear the experience? Like these guys are fighting in, in a phone booth because yeah, they're like so they're close. So t- yeah, they put each other in a fucking phone booth, <laughs> and they, they actually just, fight. Ding. Yeah. They beat the sh- yes. so like you just can't do anything. You just You're stuff just uppercuts sm- into yeah, each other. Just yeah, just fucking just. <laughs> so <laughs> Damn, crazy. that's fucked up. That's crazy. That's Any cool. form of fucking that's combat dangerous. that violence, people will watch. People will pay money for them. People will watch. I wish they did some type of, like, upper body shit where you could, like, box, but then throw elbows, maybe, like, dirty box a little bit more in the clinch. Like a street Head fight butt. league. Yeah. Like fucking, uh... What's it called? Like bare knuckle, but like extreme, and not full blown to the point of like lethway. I don't want lethway headbutts. I want like why? Well, I don't want. What do you mean you want headbutts but not lethway? I don't want to disapprove of them. I'm just saying uh, that's not the intention. Like I don't want that to be the style. When oh. I think headbutts in that this style, I just want like while you're dirty boxing and stuff, I want you to be able to like clunk someone. Mm. I just don't want that to be like a foul. I'm not saying. 
they fucking throw headbutts like in the combination. In, like, oh yeah, no, it's like, fucking it's beautiful the way they th- throw headbutts. I'm just saying, like, let that be that over there. And my thing, I want like grimy elbows. Yeah. And no, I, I respect that. I respect that. Shit. To have like that, just an up head, upper, mm. up head, uh, upper headbutt instead of that, just a fucking forward mm-hmm. head smackdown. Or just like if you've got someone head pinned with your head, how you can just kind of like rock back and crack mm. them one. I miss that about old UFC. When you're on the ground, how you have someone's head pinned, you could just fucking headbutt them. <laughs> put their head through the fucking canvas. Isn't that painful? Oh, yeah. That's why you do it. <laughs> yeah. But as long as crack you em. have like more determination. Up, I guess, is that what it is? Huh? Yeah, you just got to hit him harder than like. You just got to want it more. Yeah, that it's, d- it's more of a dominance thing. Dude, if you ever watch two guys dual exchange when they both get hit, like if one of the guys falls, you like see the other guy stop being hurt. Really? Would you agree? Like, yeah, no, Condit versus ass. Ludwig. Like, they both clearly are hurt, Be and then Ludwig star- starts falling, and then Condit, like, just regains his footing. Like, yeah. That confidence, just that adrenaline rush. Like, oh, fuck shit, him, I just, got Let's this. go, let's go. Yeah. Interesting. Wild. I'm trying to think what the... Oh, it's the London card this weekend. It's a good card. Anyone, uh... Anyone off the top of your head? Dan Hooker. Is back at featherweight, which is a tough weight cut, but he's too small for lightweight. He's tall. He's, it sucks because he's tall, so he's not like small like that. But he, I don't know. People hit too hard at lightweight. I think where featherweight he can crack. Um, so he's back there and he's fighting a dude on a good win streak. Arnold Allen, <laughs> Tom Aspinall is like the next big thing at heavyweight. Um, so if he wins this fight. Hopefully he'll fight Ty Tuavasa, who's the guy that just knocked out Derek Lewis. Ooh, Espinal's fighting a Russian. <laughs> Volkov is like a good kickboxer when he decides to move forward, but half the time he decides to fucking jab and teep and never actually do anything. So I'm kind of off his bandwagon. I like I want to like him because he's a big rangy kickboxer and he should be good. Yeah, six seven. Holy shit. Yeah, UFC needs to do a special card: Ukraine versus Russia. For all the marbles. Yeah, for all the marbles. I don't know if there's enough Ukrainian representation. Oh. Nah, we'll have we'll have Vladimir Putin and Elon Musk headline. <laughs> Elon Musk. He called him out. What? He, Elon Musk called out Vladimir Putin. What? To fight. Oh, really? I, I heard Vladimir and just thought you were gonna say um Klitschko. No, no, no. I no, immediately no. did no, not. No, no, no. Okay, that makes Can sense. Can Vladimir Putin like actually fight? I like, mean, he's a fat old fucking man. I was going to say, he probably could have 20 years ago, How maybe. Old is he? I don't know. He's in my head, he's like, in my head, he's 45. Time, I thought. I don't think that's I, right. He's not 45. He's older than 45. That, that makes sense. But yeah, I think he's like in his 60s. Really? It's like however old Trump is, right? Yeah, Elon's it's got just him. Just an old fuck. Yeah. Just an old fuck. Elon would come in in like a jetpack. <laughs> And like yeah, just fucking, Iron Man suit. He'd have like he'd some find out fucking he's actually go go gadget. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'd be fucking. He'd have like some special gloves that like triples his like kinetic energy. <laughs> and just punches him through the wall. Like movie Black Panther suit. Yeah, exactly. All That'd the marbles. Dope. Nah, what they need to do is have a fucking decent tournament, like how they did in Pride. Dude, Bellator does that. One does that. Yeah, but the UFC doesn't do it. I know. I want to see Biden versus Putin in the ring. <sighs> That'd be I don't want to see that. Well, That'd now, be f- now you can old go ahead and slap say, fight. Now you can go and bring back. Doesn't Putin <laughs> know how to fight? <laughs> 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 now that's relevant. Yeah, I think Uncle Joe's losing that one. I bet Biden used to box like in the forties. Just a box back in the army. <laughs> I wouldn't even give him that. I, <laughs> I think that's giving him a lot of credit. <laughs> that he was is, was he even in the army? Is that a, I don't know. Maybe in like I think he was. He, he was in like served. ROTC at Yale or something. I don't know. I made that up. You <laughs> can't <laughs> tell me that I can't fight <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <laughs> man, come on, man, man, come on, man. Back in the sixties, we we used to brawl just any time. Back in the sixties, the only guys named Vladimir were vampires. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me a guy named Vladimir's running a country. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Putin's just like 
un, like doing all of the locks on the nukes, just <laughs> sending <laughs> all of them. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Who wants to play? I like how you you defaulted to that French accent. Like, <laughs> this fuck yeah. The motherfucker. Yeah. This motherfucker. Yeah. Chocolate bleu. The true villains. What's the French. Biden did not serve in the military. Yeah, I felt pretty confident. Hunter Biden did. Had Biden. five opportunities to serve. Didn't he? To serve due Only to draft. However, was able to receive student deferments for most of those drafts. Damn. Really? No shit. The man dodged five drafts. No he just shit. He was a student at Harvard during for the time. five different so. wars. Hey, good for him. Good for him. Look at. He also received a That's what that secret society gets status you. during a medical test to determine his eligibility for service. So I assume that's just another thing to fucking get him out. Yeah, it kept him from serving. That's just he rich had people shit. Asthma. So he, yeah, he I'm pretty get sure. Drafted because of asthma. Yeah, I think you know when what the rule is a now. Draft. You know what the rule is now. If you're in school and there's a draft, you finish out your semester, and then you go to. The, or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you finish out your semester. If you're a senior, you finish out your term, and then you go to war. So let me get this straight. We're being invaded, and it's like, all right, finish out the semester, guys, and then we'll come into boot camp, and then I'll sip you out. That, well, well I assume. Fair. Well, I assume <laughs> they have. I assume they have enough on reserves to. Like halt the I front. Would, I would. I don't know. You'd you'd hope. You would you'd hope. hope. Did y'all see what Bryce Mitchell said? No. Um. Someone asked him after he beat Barbosa, <laughs> like not in the cage directly after, but like post fight uh, in the presser. Someone asked him what his thoughts are on the Russia Ukraine situation. <laughs> oh God! And he goes, "Brother, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. I really don't know." <laughs> he goes, Br- Br- uh, Bryce Mitchell's from Arkansas, and like, yeah, just the wrong person to ask. Go, just like, but he's the this, right person, dude. He gave this fucking eloquent ass answer. He's got, I'll be honest with you, brother. I don't know. I, I I know one thing. I'm not going over there and fighting any wars and losing my life over. You know, I feel for those people. And like, it was this really nice thing. But then he was like, I tell you one thing. They come knocking on the shores of America. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will plant my feet in the. Soil of Arkansas, and I will defend my. La- I tell you that. I'll like, tell you that right now. Just go. People were like, got. I guess it caught some amount of traction. I saw it. That's crazy. Not from like an MMA website. That's crazy. But like the appropriate response, like from just like a fuck. Like I don't know what's going on, but like, hey, they come over here. I'm gonna fuck them up. I'm not going over there, but sounds like, yeah, like a come lot here, of, I'll fuck you up. Sounds like a lot of politics yeah. and bullshit. And all I know is this is my land, and uh, you're not coming here. If you s- fucking look the wrong way in this direction, <laughs> you got a lot of crazy motherfuckers with not a lot to but lose. Like, could you imagine just like? Fucking just ships coming up to America, and they just have like we just have like fucking every asshole with an Escalade and a that Hummer. That was when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Crips and Bloods unite. <laughs> just, just ready to <laughs> yeah. Just fucking G riders <laughs> <laughs> cruising down the street in my six foot. <laughs> <laughs> No way anyone's fucking invading us. Crime rate in Chicago drops to zero, but Russian <laughs> forces <laughs> and a halt in the streets. Sl- slaughtered in Inglewood. Chirac, <laughs> part two. <laughs> Yo, we would, yeah, we would, we would like, give up Virginia and, like, a couple other states. Be like, these are war grounds now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> these are war Facts. grounds. Yeah. <laughs> like, we will drive them here so they, you know, will, miss out on New York and mm, other Florida. Yeah, and evacuate. We need... <laughs> Fucking just I'm, nuke the hell out of Virginia. Yeah. We're, we're not losing much anyway. I might buy a gun. Might. Fuck it. Do you guys own a gun? Nah, I don't like guns. I want a gun with no bullets. I might just get a gun. Fuck it. I want to be out. Like, because then you could just go buy bullets real quick, though, if need be. Nah, not at, not at all. Really? No. Well, I last feel like, time. I feel like there's. Oh, no, not because of. I feel like I, if shit gets I, real when you need the you bullets. You mean shortage. No, I'm just saying, like hypothetically, like, if you need, if you don't, ha- you have a gun without bullets, and then like something happens. No, I just want a gun basically for show. I want a gun that looks like a Star Wars blaster. Do you not want out. the bullets because you think you'll eat a bullet? Oh, probably not good to have that in the house. Yeah, don't want that option. And I feel like if an intruder breaks in, it's probably like good enough to have a gun to like scare him off. But oh, like, I, I would fucking, I, I don't know. See, the only time I've actually wanted a gun, I remember my brother slept over, and 
someone fucking sh- was shooting their like they came in for the fucking uh for Thanksgiving. A neighbor came in and just fucking unloaded a clip, like in the fuck at the dog like next door, like killed a dog. Yeah, just fucking the uncle came in for Thanksgiving, didn't like the fucking family dog, and just unloaded a clip into it. So all I'm hearing a is real gunshots. Man. No like, shit on my block. Yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> That the, shit's crazy. What, the fucked up thing is the police were driving around looking for what the fuck happened, and the only reason they found out is because the little kid whose fucking dog it was, the uncle made him fucking, like, bury the thing. Jesus. And the kid's, like, out there, like, fucking shoveling, and the kid, like, waved down the cops. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yo, but that is the only time I wanted a gun, when I'm hearing gunshots, crazy. like, on my block. That's what I mean. It's, like, good that I wouldn't have bullets. Like, I probably don't. Yeah, I don't want to fucking shoot a dog or, like, have some angry fit or shoot myself or just some fucking goofy shit. Yeah. I just, when I said get bullets easily, I just meant, like, a gun requires, like, paperwork and shit like that. Like, it's yeah, but like I feel like it, but I, I, but I, but I feel like your it, point of, like, shortage and stuff. Yeah, I feel like if shit got real, like, and you needed bullets, there wouldn't be any. I... Mom does babysit for a state trooper whose job is to, like, be in charge of the gun range. Which Yo, is let nice. me get, like, six. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me get a clip, bro. All I need is six. <laughs> Just give me one. It's not a big deal. I don't know why you're being weird. Mark, what kind of gun I own a gun. What? What kind of gun would you get? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like you, you, would, you would definitely want, like, a Glock. Oh, okay. You would okay. definitely get a Glock. Some firepower. Yeah, you'd get a Glock, and then... Maybe a shotgun if shotty, shit got real. Got, got the if shit got real, right, you get the all shotty. Right, all right, and you keep the shotgun like at like a choke point in your house, <laughs> duct taped under like the under the desk, under the kitchen yeah, table, under, some yeah. shit. So when an intruder does come in, I could just fucking blast him. Bro, people are wild with like hiding their guns and shit. Fucking uh, yo, my neighbor. Na- yeah, my neighbor does that shit. He puts like like he has no kids or anything. It's just him and his wife, and he, and he has a fuck ton of guns, but. Yeah, like, he has a gun. Like, I watched his house, and he walked me through the house, and he was like, uh, you'll be staying here. Uh, this drawer has a gun in it. It's loaded. Um, <laughs> if need like, be. Can you put careful. that thing away, please? He literally goes, he's like, he's like, if need be, use it, but don't touch it. And I'm like, all right, cool, thank you. And he's like. I wouldn't have if he's like, tell he's me like, about he's it. He's like, over here, he's like, over here. He's like, he's like, over here in the office, the corner. Yes, that's my shotgun. Um, <laughs> that's also loaded. I'm like, okay, dude. Thank you. Safety always off. No safety. <laughs> I removed the safety from my guns. No, fucking, uh, my wife was doing, like, a little show thing at a, at a fucking house out in, kind of like where she you live, out in, out in Manuka, <laughs> or, like, fucking Bufu. <laughs> she does, she does. She does. <laughs> not arguing. Wait, what? But, uh, so. Really? Okay. Yeah. Like travel, I mean, like traveling romance dildo? stuff or yeah. whatever. Like okay. the boot. Like she's not uh, like a traveling dildo salesman. With like no, a car. no, no. She has like a real job, but then like yes. sling stuff on the side. Like anyway, a drug dealer. That's yes, cool. more sex stuff. toys. <laughs> um, that's fucking awesome. that's, that's all the ladies cool. are in the house, and like none of the dudes are allowed to be there when they're like slinging their dildos. Obviously not. Obviously. Weird. So then, fucking husband gets home and freaks the fuck out. Just immediately starts opening all the drawers and shit. Like, where the fuck are my guns? Where's this? Where's this? Where's this? Like, fucking, like, opening, like, paintings and shit. Like, looking Jesus. for guns behind. Really? Like, all this crazy shit. And the wife's just like, nah, I have a bunch of people over. Like, I put all your fucking 72 loaded guns away, you fucking maniac. And he's like, what if we get robbed? <laughs> I guess run to the room with all the guns in it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. I always wanted, like, a safe behind the picture. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's legit as fuck. That'd be dope. I want a fucking bookcase that I can just pull a book off and just have a little secret entrance. I built one. Yeah, he has well, that. Shit, I built one in my basement. Pants. Yeah, dude. I, I'm still working on the book part. It's it's a little fucked up. The it's mechanism. a work in progress. It's a work in progress. I might switch to uh, kind I have of a engineer. statue where I turn the head, so I might make it to her when Is I turn. Is it Shakespeare? No, but it should be. That'd should be cool. Be. Uh, but no, I want to make it nah, where, like, nah, when I turn nah. the head, maybe, like, a pin comes out that locks the door. And then smart, I smart. Maybe something like that. Okay, okay. Just try not to lock yourself in. He's good with shit like that. I could build a thing or two <laughs> with my fucking hands. These hands tell a story. Tell 
Fuck his hands. Oh, for guns. A Sig Sauer is what I came up with, according to my research, because that looks like the guns it's that clone troopers use. And What's a Sig Sauer? It's similar to a Glock 17, apparently, but Get with on the allegedly TV. better grip. Put it on the TV. I don't want to. It timed out. I have to log in and... Don't feel like that. Pretty sure it's an ugly fucking gun if I'm thinking of the right one. I'm going to look it up. It looks like... I like how you pulled out your phone. And Sh- yeah. I, I thought you were looking it up and then just put your phone down. Well, I looked it up. <laughs> a SIG... In my notes. SIG Sour. And look it up online. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, if you well, ever here, I'm pulling up a Google Images. I see. So this is what you're liking. I'll smite you. Something like that? Yeah, because it looks like the... Uh, For the viewers, it looks like... Oh, it I does look you. like a Glock. It looks like an airsoft gun. Why don't you just get an airsoft gun? Yo, we should get some airsoft guns and go fuck around. Oh, I got airsoft guns. I do, too. Now you're not about that? Trying to have a lightsaber You don't like battle? that idea? Are you scared? <laughs> Isn't Tovar taking us paintballing? Yo. Possibly. My buddy actually, so I do have a shit ton of airsoft guns. Fucking about that. If you're trying to airsoft, I'm down. I haven't done that fucking like ten years. My uh, my buddy just hit me up. He's like, "Yo, if I get a bunch of people from work together, like you in fucking to go uh, airsoft in one weekend?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" Zach, Zach, Zach. Sure, we're gonna go airsofting. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Cool. Did you watch uh, the new uh, South Park? No. They got airsofting. Really? It's very funny. It's very funny. Nice. Oh, I got to watch it. That's funny as fuck. I love that now is when they're doing it. Oh, yeah. Totally missed it. Totally yeah. missed it. Yeah, I feel like airsoft was big like 2012. Right, 14. but that also might have been just because we well, were yeah, that's 16. Or I, yeah, I was Maybe 16 at the time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, shit. Yeah, that's true. I almost got arrested airsofting. Oh, I've had cops come into my house and be like, I saw you with a gun. It was like, no. It's a, it's an orange tip, it's a piece of plastic. It's we, like okay, we went put to a sock on it. <laughs> <laughs> we went to this field like behind my house and was just shooting each other with airsoft guns. And I guess the field was owned by some contractor or something. So like the builder came and was chasing us in like this bulldozer. What? Yeah, dude, it was fucked up. So we stopped obviously because I can't outrun a bulldozer. And mm. I'm 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 like carrying all my shit too. Weak. Just and load on him. <laughs> the dude like stops and he's like, "I'm calling my boss. You're gonna get arrested." Blah blah. blah. M- mind you, we're all like 15, so it's like we're this like is a cool guy. Yeah, we're like okay. I don't give a fuck who you call. So I then call my mom and I I'm like, "Hey, uh, we we're airsofting in the field like always." And uh, this dude stopped up. So he's calling the cops. She goes, "Is he by you?" And I go, "I mean, he's standing like across from me." And he's like, "She's like." Just run, fuck it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just run. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, my shits. I'd have to grab all my stuff. It'd be weird. And she's like, all right. And then the guy goes, "Is that your mom?" And I go, "Yeah." And he goes, "I'd like to have a word with her." And my mom goes, "He wants to talk to me." Get put that motherfucker on the phone. And I go, "Good luck, dude." <laughs> and I hand it to him. My mom fucking screams at this guy. He he hands the phone back, and he's like, "My boss is on the way." So the boss comes, he calls the cops or whatever the cops come. The co- the cops cuss out the dude who, like, called the cops and was like, you're a fucking idiot. You're an asshole. This is just a field. What's it matter? Right. And then, uh. It's not like you're planting crops on it or something. The like- dude was saying that there were no trespassing signs up when we stole them. I was wow. like, I was like, listen, if there were signs, I probably would have stole them. <laughs> that would have happened. But there weren't signs. I'll be honest with you. If given the opportunity, yeah. I would have, but you didn't give it to me. So the cops we drove shot right through him. So the cops drove us home, and then, uh, like, he we got out of the car, and like he total was total badasses. Yeah, he put like the gun in like the trunk and shit, and like he took it out, and he was like, "So this thing, uh, how's this thing shoot?" I go, <laughs> "Oh, uh, you just pull the thing back and shoot, dude." Cop fucking shoots the stop sign on my na- in my yep, neighborhood, yep. and he's like, he's like, "Just make sure you know." That uh, that like orange tip is showing, and then just gives us our shit, and he leaves, and I'm like, all right, dude, you were cool. He's got shit to do, man. Like, He's got this actual guy, this problems. This guy's cool. All right. Yeah, You're like some fucking assholes. And then my neighbors ran over and was like, Did "You get arrested? What the fuck happened?" <laughs> nah, that's that's my cool cop friend. Nah, I got cop friends now. 
I got a fucking badge now. <laughs> I'm a junior maybe that's deputy. Pl- maybe that's plan B. We do cops. We be cops. Super I mean, Troopers. That, 21 that's Jump always Street. an option. That was, I'm more of a 21 Jump Street. I feel like it's pretty troopers. easy to become a cop. Oh, yeah. You just got to stop smoking weed. Yeah, I think now it's pretty easy, right? Not S- stop smoking weed. You still can't smoke weed as a cop? Nope. Really? Give that a couple. I mean, by the time we're out of the academy, <laughs> I'm sure laws will be changed. I want to see that fucking get taken care of federally. And then to be able to smoke weed and, like, go in the army. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know why the fuck. By, that, by that time, we'd probably be too old for the army. Oh, I'm not saying I want to join the army yeah. by any means. But I'm just saying, if you're out there fucking killing people and, you know, saving lives, yeah. you should be able to fucking smoke a joint after you're fucking done. Yeah. I, I can't wait. Numb. I can't wait till it's federally legal and then Amazon starts selling weed. Oh, that'll be something. That'll be nice. Maybe all drugs become legal. Amazon starts selling a lot more. And Jeff Bezos. The that's gov- an idea. The maybe, government. Maybe realizes. you start lobbying. You piece of shit, Jeff Bezos. Ronald Reagan, you fuck. Thanks a lot, Reagan. Nixon. Your fucking Reaganomics. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. we know politics pretty good. No, I mean, come on. I took a politics class or two. Come on. Hey, I'm graduated. I'm done with school. Are you really? You're done, yeah. done. Yeah, hey, dude. look at yeah, this guy. Damn, boy. Did my final. How was uh? How was shooting your porn? I was. Oh Jesus bro. Christ! Yeah, I sent you the opening video. I saw oh, about yeah. eleven seconds of it and was wildly uncomfortable. So, <laughs> I have a girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. Let me start with that, <laughs> Christian. If you're listening, I need you to turn it off now. Um, so basically at this, at this, pray to God, she isn't listening. Yeah. Fuck. At this, be worrisome. She's just like, I just love him so much. I listen, I tune into the podcast, I tune in the podcast. I listen to the hateful things he has to say (laughs) and the shitty things he says about everybody. No, but, uh, no. So we go there and like, I think, I think we talked about the plot last time, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we all know the plot and we start filming and like, there's like, Mind you, I'm the only guy on set, right? It's all women. So the opening scene is like this girl is like in front of the cam sucking on her finger, and it's just this close up pull out shot. She's you in a can, like, she's, hear it she's in a like bra and not... underwear. And I'm I have to film this for class. My, this is a fucking school project too. It's too real though. There's nothing hot about it. It's like it's too like Dude, I didn't even... acting. It's too so there were two montages in the film where it's like <laughs> it goes through like it's 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 to show the passage of time yeah. and how and how how this girl's been doing camming for like a month or some shit. So there's a lot of outfits, bro. I I stepped out of the room probably like nine times so that she could change outfits. I had to go back in just filming close ups of her like rubbing on her leg, her ass, like her ass was up in the air. I was filming her ass, fucking. Oof. Tits, and I w- close. It was fucking crazy, like very uncomfortable. It Sounds was, very uncomfortable for a student film, mind you. That we signed. That, that I the signed. The point up of for. the film was the in m- order to it, by pleasing everybody, you end up pleasing nobody. You had to show this to like your whole class. That's what there? they were doing today at nine thirty. I didn't go to class. Yes, yeah, so I would not be no, there I was for like, that fucking. It showing. was the last class. I was like, you know what? Um, I did my part. It's edited. It's turned in. I turned in the shot list. You Oof, guys take yeah. care. I would not be there for that fucking so, showing. So I get a text from the one chick in the group who was very cool. Like we worked well. She was together. the lesbian who wanted to put this whole fucking fantasy together for herself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, fucking uh. I get a text from her because she went to class and I was like, let me know how that goes. She goes, yeah, she didn't, uh, she didn't stick to the script at all. It was, it was like half done. So like when she's reading chats on the screen, it wasn't popping up. So nobody knew what was going on. It just looked like a girl dancing in front of a camera for, for like, dude, it turned, bro, bro. It turned out to be like 13 minutes long. It was supposed to be like six Dude, oh. <laughs> it didn't make sense. Like, it was very jarring or some shit. She literally said it was like the montages were too long. It was set to some weird music. It felt like a soft core. No, no. The, the teacher said it felt like a soft core student porno. That's what it felt that, like the entire That's time. every time you were bro. describing it, that's what I was thinking. 
Can you? I'm so glad to go to class, like but can you imagine sitting? Of that. Yeah, I should have went to class for the story, but but like, yeah, I, I filmed that. Gr- great technique, huh, Teach? Dude, it was. <laughs> Putting yeah. aside the subject matter, there was a bath scene. Oh. I had to film a bath scene. God, two of them in this film. Well, sixteen how, minutes. Well, like, would they have a bathing suit on? So this is how it was. This um, mind you, I'm in the bathroom like setting up C stands and like lights and like the mics and shit, and um. While the one production designer is like getting like the bathtub ready with the bubbles and shit, and I'm like, all right, cool. I tu- production designer. I turn around, and this chick is standing behind me in a fucking skin tight, strapless, skin colored bikini. I thought she was butt ass naked, and I'm like, oh, and I like turn around, and I'm like, oh, you're wearing a swimsuit, okay. So now I have to film like these two chicks in the same bathtub, talking to each other about some shit. Yeah, it was fucked up. It was weird. Lighting looked good. Movie looked good. I filmed it beautifully. Professional as fuck. My end turned out nice. So, God, that's why you're sitting here now. And that's why we're we're gonna be big in showbiz. (laughs) We're going places. Wait till video comes out on this pod, fuckers. That wrist game comes out. Now we need one of us to move out. It get a set. I fucking out. hate you. <laughs> Piece of shit. The fun things we repeat. <laughs> nah, it's funny. Wow. It's, a, it's a good laugh. It's a good laugh. Nah, it's fun. It's all in fun. Laughing with. Mark oh, knocked his water over. I did. Good thing the cap. Rushing to hit the button. Good thing the cap was on. Yeah, for your sake. Good thing. Yeah. Because it'd be. Dunzo, bud. For you. This would be a short pod. You want to talk about 10 extra minutes, maybe 10 less minutes. You want to see something get recycled? That bottle. Going yep. right. <laughs> you know, because we've actually gone over for so long, for the past so many episodes, we're going to cash in on all the extra minutes and end it now. <laughs> <laughs> all, all those free minutes, guess what? They weren't so free, okay? They weren't so free. Take uh, them back. Time to pay the piper. <laughs> uh, Someone no. called it Indian giving. I don't know if you could say that. Some would call not? it that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you not? It's like an Indian burn. I said that the other day and immediately questioned myself. Do you remember getting those as a kid? Yeah, I did and it with my sister. You do it to your sister? No, I just did it because she never heard of it. So I was like, never heard of an Indian burn? And she's Come like, here. no, what's that? <laughs> Christian never heard of a Charlie horse, and it took every ounce of fucking you didn't? To fucking no. punch her. Oh wow! <laughs> she was like, you. she was like Charlie horse. What's that? And I go, you Ooh. didn't just rail her leg. Bam! No, no, I didn't. Huh. I couldn't. No, she bruises what like a banana. Restraint. Oh yeah, uh, she does yeah, said that before. Yeah, can't have a show. No, I did shrooms with her the other day, the other week, last week. Oh yeah, how'd that go? It was good. Very good. What'd you guys get up to? You just chill and look at a wall or? Hmm? Confidence? Oh, dude. Yeah, I forgot about that. In the notes, I put uh, fucking did shrooms with with Christian. Indent bullet point. Confidence? What? <laughs> just, I like, don't know. I was probably fucked up writing that. but um, Pretty confident. When what I'm writing. thinking is I was very like. Your sense of self was high or something? Yeah. Like yeah, it was weird. But, uh, like, I, I I remember looking at myself in the mirror and being like, that's a good-looking motherfucker. Yeah, that's you good feel like that without shrooms. <laughs> yeah, so maybe shrooms just heightened it. But, no, it was fun. We uh we watched, like, Blue Planet and, like, you know, na- nature shit like that. Um, we, uh, I fucking drew. We, we fucked around with, like, color. I bought a colored pencil ca- kit. We were fucking drawing and shit. Uh, listen to music. Normal bull, bullshit, shroom shit. Sounds like a good time. You ever do shrooms with your lady? No. Acid? Jackie just got on the weed not too long ago. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess it's not new at this point, but. Yeah, it's just, it's just not, not for a minute, but yeah, not a, uh, doesn't like to dabble much. It took her that. a while to get yeah. there. Oh, that's okay. But yeah. To each they own. Now she's coming picking up weed. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. High rolling. <laughs> This one came to chill, and she came just to get weed so she wasn't at home without it. 
She's like, I'm not waiting on your ass. Yeah. I it's like, look at this. <laughs> oh, yo. You guys ever see Ratatouille? Yeah, long time ago. We watch that shit on shrooms, right? Ooh, okay. Yo, you want to talk about a mind-blowing experience. Do you, do you remember the movie at all? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember it? Sure. Fucking, you know the critic, dude? Mm-hmm. So, the endings, I remember seeing a gif with, like, just showing, like, parts of this, and then I finally watched it all again, and I put it all together. The fucking, the ending scene where Remy makes the ratatouille and brings it out, the fucking, the critic dude takes the bite, and it's like, boof. And he goes back to when he was a child. That was the fucking house in the beginning of the movie with the old lady with the shotgun. That lady is his grandmother or mother. You lost me at the beginning of the movie. I don't remember the beginning. Oh, I don't remember the critic. Fuck. God damn it. Well, that is cool, Anyways, though. I will go rewatch so that now, that lady, So that lady is his mother. And Remy, Remy knew to make the fucking... Ratatouille because all the rats grew up in the attic above that dude watching him eat that as a kid. And because rat is in Ratatouille. That would also make sense, which is probably why they picked that dish. And he read fucking Cusco's, like, book or whatever that was in the fucking thing. Then the movie ends. The fucking critic loses his job because he said it was the best food he ever had, and then the, the, the restaurant gets shut down because of rats. The critic loses his job. Remy opens up another restaurant with that dude. And he's the final shot is him eating the ratatouille in the restaurant happy with the same face as a kid. And in the restaurant, all the rats live above the restaurant. Yeah. Like in the beginning of the movie. It was fucked up. Fucking mind-blowing. Full circle. Oh, it dude, it was full great. Full circle. Pixar is so fucking good at their pre-production. It's insane. Wild. He says that as if anime doesn't offer the same, like, Maybe you go watch Yu Yu Hagasho on a little bit of drugs and then don't tell me you cry your eyes out at the first episode yeah, of the show. How many episodes is that, though? It's so long. No, it's not that bad. bad. It's only like 100. If the. 30? Yeah, 120. 120. And that's a half hour each. 20 minutes? 20 each. minutes each. No filler. Yeah, it's a straight shot. That ain't bad. Well, we'll try it. I'll try it. it. I'll, I'll try it. Never that's 40 it. hours. That's not bad at all. No that's it? Suit. Yeah. Huh. I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's a good ass show. It's a good ass show. You need to get on Just that EPO. EPO, you should watch for yourself. I told Nick at work to start watching it just to spite you. <laughs> I'm like, you'll like it for one, but for two, more importantly. <laughs> we can talk about it in front of him, and he'll be like, what are you guys talking about? We're like, shut up. You don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's called EPO. And that excited him. That excited So now him. he's starting to watch it? Uh, if he can get his girlfriend in on it, because he can only watch things that the two of them watch, and he can only talk about her. <laughs> you know him. You Yeah. It's a lot. It's okay. Man's happy now. I tell you, when it eventually fizzles, it's going to be rough. Oh. It's going to be tough times. At, we hope at that do, we hope that doesn't happen, but hey, no. but we're here for him if it does. You also play the odds. <laughs> also, a, a man of logic. You expect things, certain outcomes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. I've been watching good, like, philosophy videos on YouTube again. I had one that was fucking my head up. I was like, like, you can't, like, you can have expectations that are, like, based on, I guess I have a hard time drawing the line, but I was trying to say there's two different types of expectations. One is okay, and it's like, how could you live without it? Obviously, like, humans live based on predicting and expecting, and then there's another set of expectations where it's like, well, why would you expect that of that person like you can't put your expectation onto them and then be upset when they don't like meet it like you put that expectation onto them so i don't know exactly where the line is but that was like some shit that fucked my head up because i was like i do do that a lot where i'm like why wouldn't this person do because i like whatever i would have done in their shoes i then go like well why aren't they doing that and like, if I can't, I try to give them the benefit of the doubt initially if I can think of, like, oh, maybe they were busy and it kept them from doing that. But if nothing's there, I've, like, 
why they wouldn't just do the thing in the first place. And then I'm like, well, what the fuck? Then Zach gets angry. No, then it becomes the first tally. And then once fucking 72 tallies are reached. <laughs> <coughs> I was mad I didn't have my hat on yesterday. Because when I don't have my hat, I can't slam my head into things. Because then there'll be a mark. When I have my hat on, covers it up. Fucking animal. What are you slamming your head against? The racks. But the It's crazy. The fucking I've seen them punch bins before. When have I ever punched a bin? You, in, it was in, it was in front. Of, it was intense. You missed. You were like six inches from me. I didn't punch a bin. Yes, you did. You got upset and you punched a bin out in the fulfillment room. You were pissed off about. I think it was the restocking because there was too much on the floor. You struck a bin. I remember it vividly. <laughs> I could tell you what vividly. bin it was too. What? What bin? It was a send. I a bin full of product. I struck. Yeah. You punched it back into the shelf. Hard. Okay, so I aggressively put something back. Is what he's saying. <laughs> I didn't punch it. You punched it very hard. It might not. It might have not even been out of the shelf because I think I was afraid that that you punched the metal, but you hit the plastic because it's so close together. The shelving. I went to the vo- uh, office the other day, and usually they don't have the vault camera in there. It's like, why would you? The past couple times I've been in there. Vault camera's been pulled up. I don't like that. I don't like being spied upon. Maybe you're just not trustworthy, Zach. That's the vibe I get. That's why I have to write fucking notes on my off days. <laughs> it is a weird it thoughts. is a weird feeling knowing you're being like like every inch of that place is on camera. I don't ever think about it until I go in the office and I'm like, that's weird that you would have, like, of the four cameras you want on that screen, the the vault would be one of them. Yeah. Not, like... Looking at the customers. Yeah, like... Watching the entryways. Operations. Cash register. Yep, Zach's jerking off in the corner again. Put another tally down. Make sure this one's not slacking. I'm the guy that's... No, not even... (laughs) <laughs> it's getting yeah. hot again, folks. It's getting, it's hot. getting hot. It's getting hot in here. Sometimes, and I that's why it keeps. That's, that's why it keeps the air so cool. Yeah. Speaking of cool, Nightcore shut my fucking gas off because there was a gas leak somewhere on like the main. So I guess they shut like houses off, and I had to call them to have them come and turn it back on. So I get home late from, like, work or some shit, or, or, or I think it was school. I, I was out doing Real something. Real first world problem. Yeah. So I get home, right? I make food. I'm making, like, homemade pasta for me and Christian. I make pasta. I go to turn the, the water on, or the fucking, uh, the stove, fucking stove yeah. on. Nothing happens, and I'm like, oh, this is great. And then I go to the door. It says, call us to turn the gas back on. Mind you, it's fucking winter in Chicago. And they're turning off people's gas. Dude, I walked into my house. It was like 50 degrees. I'm like, it's cold in here. Maybe you pay your bills on time. I'm just saying. I do pay the fuck. I don't. I, don't I know. Pay the, I, I don't pay disrespect your family like that. It's what happens. So, it's, it's rude to bring up. I'll but no. Leave. So we call fucking NICOR. Mind you, it's like probably like 6 o'clock. They don't come till 10 p.m. So I'm just like. No no time frame of when they're going to come. I'm just sitting there waiting for Nycor, shivering in my house. Shivering. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> sitting here miserable. <laughs> miserable in my house. Nah, I was pissed off. Starving. I told Christian, I was like, we are going to smoke up this fucking basement so that when this man has to come down here, he'll know. <laughs> He'll know I've been angry waiting for him. (laughs) I've been trying to fucking simmer down. (laughs) So they shut it all off just to turn it back on once you called? Yeah, I guess they shut it off at the house. Maybe the house doesn't explode if their shit gets fucked up. Maybe maybe they had to clear the main line to all the houses or something. Fucking wild. Yeah, it was weird. I, I've you, never, ex- you, yeah, but like I've once, never once experienced it's fixed, that. you think they would just turn it back on at all the houses. I think because they have to check the appliances. They have to, like, start your pilot light. They have to start. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 because if they just turn the gas back on and, like, you go to hit your furnace, I assume it will just spray gas out because it's not lit. 
Yeah, like like he actually had to like come in the house and like check the stove, check the furnace, check all this other shit. No shit. Yeah, it was fucked up. Very inconvenient on night course part. And if they didn't Very have a monopoly, I would change. I'd switch I'd switch gas providers. Yeah, if only. If only. How is that legal? It's fucked up, isn't it? Nicor, ComEd, they all got fucking like how is that legal? Like, in, in comic books, Diamond had the distribution monopoly until just these past couple years. Now DC has been using their own distribution company. And then I think now Marvel just got their own also, which is very I mean, for since at least like the eighties, I want to say Diamond's just been like what you have to go through. Like you're not a real Fuck comic Diamond, book company. Yeah. It's like it's weird because yeah, it was Fuck Diamond, but now it's like annoying that it's like you have to order out of three or four different books instead mm-hmm. of everything being in one. So it's like the trade off wasn't exactly as great as we always expected as it you'd would want be. It yeah. To be. It wasn't like you traded this system for a better one. It was like, then, here's a different one. And, mm-hmm. you know. But then don't they set their own prices at whatever they want them to be, and you're forced to pay them? The distributors? Or, yeah. Or, or well, they like, reach whatever term. I mean, so they've their got servers a, go down, you're fucked or some shit. Yeah, I mean, that is a more uh, prevalent thing, is like coordinating between everyone's different fucking catalogs yeah. and websites and shit versus everything just being centrally located. That's Let's why, start like, a gas company. Let's do it. The gas men. <laughs> and we smoke weed, which is also and gas. And we smoke weed, and that's how we test if the line's leaking. <laughs> as I, <laughs> as I, I blow, strike I blow, a match. I strike a match, and I light my joint in your house. Yeah, no, this room's yeah. good. <laughs> just smoking around no, everywhere, just waving the lid joint. I'm also a shaman. I'm blessing your house. You're welcome. This is sage. Yeah. Also Don't worry, I won't charge salvia. extra. You're welcome. <laughs> salvia. Smoke this. Sal- Do you know sal- sage is just salvia? I think. I don't know what salvia is. Salvia, salvia is the thing you smoke. And, yeah, and you like hallucinate and shit. You're telling me that's the shit in my fucking no, spice cabinet? I'd, I'd smoke it and see. No. <laughs> There's a type of sage that's just salvia. Yeah, see how he says it. Now, now it's a type of sage. See how it well, it's just it. sage. I was told it was just sage. By who? Huh? Let's go. Let's go get crazy. Let's go hit the spice rack. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go pack it up. Let's go find out. Chop up some limes. Maybe get some some powdered sugar while we're at it. Or that my, shit gets you wild. My friend was gonna bring me drugs, but then he forgot. Yeah, I was gonna bring edibles. But I forgot. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Real it's shit, fun. friend. Maybe I'll take them tonight. <laughs> you probably will. You probably text me. <laughs> Yo, these are crazy. They're wild, bro. Now I know I why you wanted these. these. Yeah. Now I'll, I know. I'll be in my house with the gas turned off out of spite. <laughs> Filling my house with gas, waiting for the toaster to go. Filling the gar- the toaster. <laughs> yeah, you put a you put a, a newspaper, newspaper in the, the toaster. toaster. Yes, yep. sir. Yes, sir. God, watch a fucking born movie, Jesus. Come on. I don't know. <sighs> Amateur. I've hour. seen all those movies. That was good. That was a guess. <laughs> Gonna stab a motherfucker. Slit a pig's I'll stab. Throat. I'll stab a honky. A honky. Yeah, you can. Man, say, I can this say that. turkey. This jive turkey. Whoa! Did you call me a jive turkey? No. Jive turkey's a little over the line, my man. Over the line. Nah, nah, he called you a cocksucker. JT. We were all here. We all heard what was said. And we're all in agreement that Cornelius said cocksucker. He said cocksucker. He said cocksucker. All he said was that you suck cock. That's all he said about you. All he said. Now, dig into that fondue. Well, cocksucker. <laughs> we're playing the game. <laughs> we're playing one right now. <laughs> But a little game I learned in V and Fuck. fucking Nam. No, yeah. So yeah, that's the movie. That's but, that's a little scene from Semi Pro. Yeah, that's that's the movie portion of the podcast. Just to show off, just to show off our acting skills. Our just because we are multi talented people. And remember, we got a clip channel. Speaking about other talents, we got a clip channel on. We got a fucking get this channel. Got a lot of shit. Uh, a lot of irons in the fire. Yeah. 
probably see me on the news soon in handcuffs. Jesus. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's it's fun and games, and then... I'll just die of a heart attack. (laughs) At a crisp age of 33. Yeah, yeah. No. And that'll be better. For everybody. For everyone involved. Yeah. But no. You don't need to feel your left arm. It can be numb most of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Your chest can be tight. It's fine. It's fine. Just You don't need it to be. You need to stretch your psoas muscle and get on with the rest of your day. Come on. Bury it. (laughs) Bury it. I ain't sucking dick. I ain't sucking dick. That's a Bill Burr bit. But yeah. Semi pro Bill Burr. You know, all sorts of shit. You get a little taste of everything on this podcast. And you know hot recommendations. Same thing as always. Like, subscribe. Normal shit. Check out the clip channel. Logo's coming out soon. At some point. There's been no updates. No. But uh glad you said soon though. Hey. Like always, you fuckers take care. Chicka chicka. God damn. <laughs>